<laughs> At last. You kept me waiting for so long. Oh, there's no need to be frightened. You're perfectly safe here. Ah, put that down. It's very old, and if you try to hit me with it, it's going to break. You'd be wise to do what I say, else you end up in a worse off position. I don't need to resort to violence or simple tricks to keep you from causing any harm to either of us. My magic can do more than just transport you around. You do well to remember that. Would you like a demonstration? Are we clear then? Good. Now then. Let's see here. Don't move. I'm just having a look. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hmm. Such a pretty face. Hmm. Don't take compliments well. <laughs> If you think I'd use my magic to snatch the first attractive person I see, then you are solely mistaken. Now, that's being a bit presumptuous, don't you think? What do you take me for? Some kind of low-life voyeur? There's no pride in using underhanded tactics to view someone in the most vulnerable state. The real victory is getting someone to do it for you willingly. Whether I'm interested or not is completely irrelevant. It's ultimately what you decide to do that matters. Well, I wouldn't mind it. I expect the rest of you to be just as beautiful. But I'll leave that up to the imagination for now. Rest assured, there's a lot to be left to it. All I'm privy to is that sweet face of yours, and the mark on your chest. <laughs> what did I say? There have been no unwanted looks towards you in any way. Let's just say, I was given permission at one point in time. No need to get ruffled over it. Hmm. In a way, we've met before. Just not in a typical sense. You weren't exactly aware of me at the time. Considering you were unconscious, you wouldn't exactly remember that encounter. Oh, enough of that. It was in a strictly professional setting. I only saw what I needed to. Well, it was necessary to your parents. I can tell you that much. You were in desperate need of help. So they came to me. They said you'd been sick for some time, and that it had taken its toll on you. I'll say, you definitely looked the part. You were pale as a ghost when they brought you over. I'm not a physician, just a simple sorcerer who knows a thing or two about giving people what they want. I can't say I was their first choice, 
but they had very few options. And sometimes, just got to trust a few miscreants along the way to get things done. People will resort to anything if it's for the sake of a loved one. Children in particular will have their parents go to the ends of the earth for them. Especially when they're dead. Oh? Didn't see the light for a bit while you were out? That's what they all say, after having come back from the brink. No, seriously. You were gone. Stiff as a board. Couldn't feel a single pulse on you. Well, that's exactly why they brought you to me. They couldn't bear to see you die before them. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised how long you've lasted with the condition before your heart gave out. Most don't make it as long as you did. I've seen several families come in with loved ones who have succumbed to the same illness. But you're the only one who lived to adulthood. Oh, I didn't revive any of them. Much too risky and not worth the payment. The issue is... that it's a bit of a one-time deal. Or at least, from what I can gather, the method I used only allows me to perform at once. That is, unless I can figure out how to do it again without compromising both of our lives. Yes. Both of us would be sent to an early grave if I was a bit too ambitious. And I don't think you'd want to relive that time before, would you? we become intrinsically linked as a result of me doing this for you. <laughs> well... Wouldn't you believe if I told you that the heart that beats within your chest is none other than my own? It does sound odd, doesn't it? It's a power created by the progenitors of magic that has been passed down on for generations. To give life is the ultimate proof of one's mastery of the art. Unfortunately, it's the only way we know how to revive the dead. One life must be used to bring back another. In this case, it means I had to give you my heart for you to live. Still a bit too far-fetched for you, hmm. Why don't I prove it to you, then? First, let me show you this. You recognize it, don't you? That's right. Same marking as yours. Now place your hand over where my heart should be. Don't be shy. Nothing bad will happen if you do. That's it. Come a little bit closer. Now put your hand here. Right there. Very good. Nothing, right? Is that enough to make you believe? Oh, no other sorcerer could have given up their heart to you. If they had, they would have felt you within my presence and snatched you away by now. <laughs> Even if I had somehow blocked your own presence from them, that just goes to show how weak they are. And that's further proof of how much better of a choice I am in the end. 
you're much safer under my care. But I'm not going to let the others take the credit for my work. It's my heart that gives you life. No one else's. Hmm? <laughs> it's quite simple why I chose to bring you back over the countless others who have lost their lives. You are everything that I've ever wanted. From the moment I laid eyes on you, I knew you were the one. And as I felt every beat that heart has made since you took your first breath, that want has only grown more and more. I wish I could have brought you home sooner, but your parents and I had a deal, and it wouldn't have been far to take away the last five years they would have ever had with you. But it was worth the wait. Their time is up, and the spell that connects us has brought you back to me. And now, we can spend the rest of our days together until death takes us. The moment that heart stops beating, it means the end for both of us. We share one life, and when one succumbs, so does the other. Just like two little lovebirds. It's poetic in a way. Now, don't you worry. We will have the rest of our lives to come to love each other that way. You will know and love me as I do with you. Our connection runs deeper than just being bound in life and death. Life is shared in many ways between us. Every heartbeat has a story and a feeling attached to it. And each one has given me a greater picture of who you are. I know that one of the first things you felt when you came to was gratitude. You felt immense joy when your parents told you that you had been treated. Isn't that right? It's something you've held on to ever since, and now you feel conflicted knowing the truth of it all. Yes, that is the price for having a second chance. What you feel is no longer just yours, will always be a part of me too. But you can always be sure that there will be no misunderstandings between us. You will never have to worry about your needs or wants going unnoticed. And I can tell you right now that you'd like some reassurance that everything will be okay. I can say with absolute certainty that the heart will give you a long life. One where you don't have to fear if your next day will be your last. It's my duty to make sure of that. For both of our sakes. Yes, it's in my best interest to make sure you are happy from now on. And that means giving you what you need. Right now, you desire comfort. Something simple to put you at ease. And there's one thing I know that can. You used to love having your cheeks stroked like this. It's 
It's making your heart flutter now, isn't it? <laughs> it feels nice, doesn't it? <sighs> I have my own desires too, you know. Would you let me indulge in one? It's something you fantasized about in the past. You never thought you'd live to experience it with what little time you had. But now, you have all the time in the world for it. There's nothing holding you back anymore. The heart never lies. I know how strong the feeling is within you. Let me prove it to you, then. The heart truly speaks for itself, doesn't it? You've wanted that, and so much more, haven't you? And all you can have and you can have all of it. You have a whole life ahead of you to fulfill everything you've ever dreamed of. Yes. Let this be the first experience of many. <laughs>